Hello friends, it's me, the Geek Von Doom, and back by popular demand, we're heading back to the lake on Fishing Planet. Last time we showed you how to get started without wasting any money, and today we're going to be taking the next step on that journey. We're going to head over to the shop. As you can see right here, I'm level 7. And uh, level 7 is good, because that's about what you need to be in order to take that next step. We're going to head over to the shop. We're going to go over to Tools and Equipment. To select stringers, grab the fish cell SX or SX, ooh, XS, extra small. There, it has a max single fish weight of 7.5 and a total fish weight of 22 pounds. So it's going to be the the most you can have at once at this level. And we're going to go out and grab that guy. I've already got it on mine, I believe. Once you're done there, we're going to head over to Lines. Go to Mono Line. You'll have a new one available at level 7 called the Mono.008. We're going to need that because it's got 4 pounds test. And we're going to need that for the new rod we're getting, which is coming up next, right here. Specifically, we're going to need a casting rod. Uh, I'm pretty sure unless you spend a little bit of money, you won't have, this, uh, have enough bait coins to get this guy, but... Over here, the value cast uh, 5.3 is only $2,000, and it's what we need to be going with. So go ahead and grab you one of those. And finally, you're going to head over here to Lures. So we're going to go to Lures, grab this vast jig dude right here. Specifically, we're going to go with the number one. I have had better uh, better luck, more, uh, more frequency catching bass with the... Uh, some watermelon, so that is a yeah, watermelon seed colored one here. But uh, we need that larger hook in order to make sure we don't just spend all day catching babies. After we're done there, do I have one? I do not. We're gonna be heading to the Mudwater River for this excursion. This is not my favorite place to go for uh, to, do, to go for largemouth bass. My favorite place is over here on the Nair Heron, so I've got a spot. Oh, I've got a spot. So, let's go over here to licenses. Don't forget, we're always going to need that most expensive license at all times. The trip is pretty expensive, too. Yep, one day, please, and thank you. Back to the map. Let's see here. I'm going to go over here, because I want to look at something right quick. There are also channel cats here. Um, there we are. In this lake, there are young, common, and trophy largemouth basses. I have never caught a trophy on this lake. However, we're going to do it today, hopefully. And if not, well, that's cool too. Alright, as you can see, there's going to be a bit of math here. We've got a $1,500 transfer fee, the travel cost basically. We're going to be there for one day, one day stay is $300, totaling out to $1,800, which means before we head back, we've got to catch at least $1,800 worth of fish. So that might take a couple days, so I guess add another three to 600 on that. But if you can come back above, you can come back really above. And once you've hit that groove, once you know what you're doing, which is what I'm going to help you do here, We'll be, uh, swimming in the dough. Alright, so we're gonna be heading over here, which is called The Last Songs of Summer. A little preview image right there. Our forecast says that, uh, we're gonna have to start, our peak hours are gonna be starting around 12 to 1. We're gonna go ahead and head to 2. No. Yeah. 2 o'clock p.m. Now, if you use the setup that I had shown you earlier, you'll have this guy, this guy, this guy, and this. oh, I forgot about the reel. You're gonna need a new reel. I'm sorry. You're going to need a, uh, a cast reel, I believe they're called. I can't remember what they're called exactly. Whether well, they're the ones with little spinny handles, uh, doesn't matter which one you get, but the best one available needs at least a line test of four, which is why I said go with this guy. You can make your money back here in no time at all. Um, let's see here. Now, now bass. 
specifically of the largemouth variety, are, are world renowned for a common, easy to find, good fight. And that's why they are favored by anglers all over the world. So we're going to go ahead and give this a try. Wait, you know what? I forgot to. So we're going to go ahead and give this a try after a speed up time here. What do we say? One o'clock, two o'clock? I think we said two o'clock. Let's go with two p.m. Forward time, please, and thank you. All right. Now, bass also usually bite more in the morning than they do in the evening. So this will be an interesting thing. Now, there's a new technique here I'm going to be teaching you. Unfortunately, this rod setup, as it is pretty much the cheapest possible bass setup, is uh, doesn't have quite the distance. You see, that was a f good full cast, and that's almost 90 feet there. Now, the proper retrieval, of course, as always, is up for debate. But let me show you how I like to do it. It's called the twitching retrieve. We're going to look down the bottom right hand of my s screen. I've got, let's see, was it set to three and three? Three tension and three speed. We're going to reel in, click, 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 reel in, click, 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 reel in, click, click, click. Boom, already got one. Off to an excellent start. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a baby, though. Well, I don't know. It's putting up a fight. You got some action going on here. We'll see. Let's see. Yep. It's a youngin'. Alright, just for the sake of making my money back, I'm going to keep. Because we got plenty of space in that fish cell. The young are about 60 to 65 per pound. So we're pretty much around the same... Uh the same money line as the uh, as the spotted bass for the young ones but the if you can catch an adult that's where the real money comes in and the trophies don't get me started that's an entire day's worth of uh, income on that so we're gonna try this again and see how it works again wow oh it's stuck on something I see do that twitching retrieve that I showed you there it is got another one now this is also my favorite spot for this as well. Come on you. This one's smaller, I think. Yep. All right. Keep you. Now, this is also my favorite spot. Uh, I've seen I actually stole this from a lot of other people cuz I see everybody fishing over there for the largemouth bass. And apparently it works. Um, from what I understand, the adults will be swimming lower than the, uh, the young ones, so make sure to let the lure sink all the way to the bottom before you begin your retrieval. Uh, bass also like shade in midday-ish, so hitting next to these reeds and cattails is an excellent idea. Be right back.
This is KD. KD. DK. Dyslexic Dunk. Now I went ahead and grabbed my controller because I actually this this retrieval is easier to do with a controller really in my opinion just due to its complexity and my mouse kind of has a problem not sticking but it does a thing every now and then where it freaks out and forgets what it's doing so keep keep up with that twitching just like I'm doing it here and you'll get them in absolutely no time now let's Oh, oh, yeah, got one right at shoreline. Nice. Another little one. That's okay. I'm gonna cast a little bit further offshore here to see if there if we can make a little difference. It is deeper in this area as well than it is right up there up against, up against the reeds. Blah, 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 blah. Can't talk. So let's see what we got over here, huh? Oh, there we go. That's a good one, yeah. Hopefully. Well, <laughs> really didn't like the water, apparently. Ah, I got another young one. Come on, now. Oh, he's taking this one. What do we got? What do we got? Hey, finally an adult! I told you this works! So mathematically speaking, it's the same value per pound as the babies, but now you're catching them at a higher poundage. So that's nice. So I went ahead and finished up the day here, and as you can see, my grand total, without premium, is uh, $1,326. That takes care of the travel fees and part of the day fee. So the next day, besides another $300 day fee, and the remainder of today's day fee, will be pure profit, and then the next day, and then the next day. So that way you can make more money, catch more fish more quickly to upgrade your stuff. Just for the record, I ended up catching 21 fish. Four of them are adults. Now, mind you, this is not the best setup, but it is the first one that you can get. It'll help you earn more money. More. The better equipment, the better the catch, the better the percentage. But still, some questions remain. For example, are tournaments a good idea? Yes, there are fishing tournaments in this game. Find out the answers to those more on the next episode of Volume 2 Gaming! <laughs>